I want to start this. Uh, oh, Roland. You're good? Here's another civic superstition I have a problem with. Rights. Boy, everybody in this country is always running around yammering about their rights. I have a right. You have no right. We have a right. They don't have a right. The government has a right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fine. Listen, folks, I hate to spoil your fun, but there's no such thing as rights, okay? We made them up. They're imaginary, like the boogeyman, the three little pigs, Pinocchio, stuff like that. It's fictional. Fictional idea, rights. People say, well, they come from God. They're God-given rights. Oh, fuck, here we go again. The God excuse, the last refuge of a man with no answers and no argument, it came from God. But let's say it's true. Let's say it's true that God gave us these rights. Fine. Why would he give us a certain number of rights? The Bill of Rights in this country has 10 stipulations, 10 rights. And by the way, God must have been doing sloppy work because you've had to amend the Bill of Rights an additional 17 times. God left out a few things like slavery. Just fucking overlooked it that day. Doesn't sound like divine planning to me. Sounds more like one group trying to control another group. In other words, business as usual in the USA. Here's George Carlin. Legendary comedian George, George Carlin. Carlin. Hey, baby, what's that? By man? far, you're easily one of the greatest comedians ever. All I could think of was shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, and tits, man. Carlin changed comedy three or four times in his career and he still seems to be talking to us. Pro-life conservatives are obsessed with a fetus from conception to nine months. But once you're born, you're on your own. Because George Carlin bits are still being shared on social media to go, you don't understand how rights work? Look at this bit. You don't understand how privilege works? Look at this bit. This country's only 200 years old and already we've had 10 major wars. So we're good at it. And it's a good thing we are. We're not very good at anything else anymore. Got no steel industry left. Can't educate our young people. Can't get health care to our old people. But we can bomb the shit out of your country, all right? Comedy traditionally has picked on people in power. People who abuse their power. I don't like orthodoxy of the left any more than I like orthodoxy of the right. I don't like anyone trying to control the language and behavior of people. You know, these moral commandos who want us to think their way and want to change what we can hear and see and think in this country are dangerous. It's called freedom of choice, and it's one of the principles this country was founded upon. Look it up in the library, Reverend, if you have any of them left when you finish burning all the books. It's a big club, and you ain't in it. People will say to me sometimes, well, what are you so angry about? Has everybody lost their fucking mind in this country? What they think is anger is a real contempt for the choices that my fellow humans have made. I just feel betrayed by the bullshit in America that's all around us. I call it the freak show. When you're born into this world, you're given a ticket to the freak show. When you're born in America, you're given a front row seat. So fasten your seatbelts, ladies and gentlemen. Get ready for Mr. George Carlin. <laughs> <laughs> 